Hey everybody, Joe Lignor here with your tip clip of the week. You know, in 1907, Robert Baden Powell came up with probably the most famous slogan for a very large and famous organization in the United States. The motto slogan was be prepared. Do you know what organization it was? Take 10 seconds. I'll, I'll give you 10 seconds. Do, 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 Time's up. That organization, you probably guessed it because the slogan is so famous, was the Boy Scouts of America. It was Baden Powell's feeling that if you're a scout, the proper scout, is always in a state of readiness in mind and body to do their duty. No matter what happens, whatever they set out to do, they need to do it. They need to make it happen. One example, my dad had a sign, a long sign over his desk in the basement. And the sign said, proper planning promotes power performance. And what he explained to me was that sign simply means you have to be ready when things go off the tracks and don't go as you planned, you have to be able to reach into your bag, be prepared to do whatever it takes to make it work. It might look different, might sound different than what you originally thought you were going to do, but you have to be able to have everything you need in your head and in your bag to make it work. How about chefs? You think it's easy just to stand behind the window back in the kitchen and make up meals? You grab this or you grab that? Uh-uh. Everything is down to a science. It's like a dance. If you watch a good chef work in the kitchen, it's like a dance. They are totally prepared for everything they need to make any meal that night for you. A particular pan, an eight inch fry pan, there's 30 of them stacked up. 10 inch pan, there's 30 of them stacked up. Ingredients, they've been prepped already and they're in separate containers, anything the chef could need, all ready for him to use. All the different foods he needs, all within arm's reach or a close walk so that he's prepared to fix any meal that you order. It doesn't happen by accident. It takes a great deal of skill and a great deal of preparation. Why do I tell you all this? Because it's the things your sons and daughters need to be successful in school. They need to be prepared. When they leave this homeroom and go to class, they need to be prepared for that class, both in mind and also in their bag, everything they need. It's the biggest thing that even after two weeks, Going on three weeks, the kids are still getting used to in fifth grade. And still there's kids in sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade that still aren't able to do it. It takes conscious thought to prepare, to be able to reach down into your bag, pull out the proper copy book, a sharpened pencil, the workbook, and be able to do what the teacher asks you to do. When they leave here and they go to math and they open up their bag, the teacher says, take out your copy book, your worksheet that we started yesterday, and a pencil. Well, the first thing they put their hand up and they need to sharpen their pencil. Uh, my pencil's broken in half. Do you have an extra pencil? Uh, I, have the, I don't have the math copy book. I have the music copy book. They both begin with them. I thought I had the math copy book and the workbook. Uh, they might not have that either. It's an English workbook, a grammar workbook. 
having everything in their desk arranged just so, everything labeled the way we did it in those first three days. Most did that, some still haven't labeled. Some books are still not covered. So when their cover tears off and now the book begins to get ratty, they're not prepared to do their best. Things go missing, pages go missing. Being prepared, it's the number one thing. They have a test coming up. You can't just show up and take it. You have to prepare for that test. Extra study, extra time, extra classwork, whatever you need to be successful. You know it, you just have to do it. Guys, be like a Boy Scout, be prepared. Get your kids to be prepared. It's the best thing you can give them. Guys, have a great week. If you think of anything you'd like to hear about, if you want to comment on this week's tip clip, just reach out to me at jlignore at standrewschool.com. jlignore at standrewschool.com. Guys, have a great week. Peace, love. Bobby Sherman.